This is cheaper. And safer too. More fun. <laughs> Way more fun. Way more fun. Three jobs in education. Not for war. Occupation, not for jobs and education, not for war and occupation. Not for jobs and education, not for war and occupation. And we're out here today, you know, fight against the U.S. drive to overthrow the government of Iran. And what is this drive over? We all know what the drive is over. They have something that's worth a lot to us, and that's oil. We make up a huge amount of humanitarian things. But what's the reality in the United States? We're facing a major crisis. People are out of work. Here in Sacramento, we have the higher, highest foreclosure rate in all of California. That is the political reality. Unem unemployment is you know, through the roof. And the statistics are a lie. They don't even count people who just stop looking for work. So why don't we deal with, you know, we should not focus on Iran, not allow the U.S. to use Iran as a scapegoat. The goal is to make more money for rich people that are exploiting us here at home. We need to fight on their side. There are our sisters and brothers. No war in Iran. Now, uh, we're going to have an uh, open mic. Uh, if people want to come up and say why they're here, that'd be great. Um, just if you can stand to the uh, left of me or your right and take up the mic, that'd be great. Yeah. Uh, John Rieger from uh, VFP is going to speak really quick. VFP stands for Veterans for Peace. Yeah, I'm, the chapter, I'm the chapter president here in Sacramento County, and we definitely oppose all of this warmongering that's going on to try and get us to invade Iran. We've been fooled before, well, some people have been fooled before, about weapons of mass destruction uh, in trying to get us to invade Iraq. We don't need any more bullshit about uh, Iran being a threat to us, they are not a threat. Uh, they're trying to scare us about Iran's nuclear uh, program. If we're really opposed to Iran's nuclear program, we should really be looking at ourselves and our own nuclear program. If we're serious about doing away with nuclear uh, threats, then let's get rid of our own nuclear threat. Iran is one of the countries that has been, has been called an axis of evil. And of course, uh, Iran, North Korea, and Iraq. Well, if you're in North Korea, or if you're in uh, Iran, and you've seen what's happened in Iraq, are you going to just bend over and let them do it to you? No, those two countries are building up their, their defenses against the United States, with serious need to do so. So, we need to spread the word. This, we're not going to be fooled again. We got, they got us once on Iraq. Let's don't, they don't, don't let them fool us on Iran. Iran is no threat to the United States. It's ridiculous. The United States has a military that is equal to about the rest of the world combined. So there's no logical, there's no serious military threat to the United States. And it's certainly not coming from Iran. So hang tough, tell your neighbors, don't buy this bullshit. Yeah. Woo! Uh, now we're gonna have Deborah Rieger from uh, the Peace and Freedom Party come and speak. Hello, I'm Deborah Rieger. I'm Vice Chair of Peace and Freedom Party of California. Can you guys hear me? Yes? Yeah. Is this better? Yeah. 
Anyway, Peace and Freedom Party is absolutely opposed to upcoming attacks on Iran, whether they be from our country or whether they be from Israel. We are supporting wrong things if we do this. Peace and Freedom Party would like to cut the federal budget for war machine things. We would like to end the war machine, in fact. Some of the stop the war, shut down the war machine signs are from Peace and Freedom Party. We are spending over half of our federal budget on war machine things. That leaves little tiny percentages for education, for housing, for uh, mental health services, for all the things that we need in this country. Our country is, in com is complicit in breaking down societies overseas. It is wrong. We need to be making amends. We need to back out of doing that. We need to assist, insist on real democracy. a real democracy in this country, it would not be run by the corporate investors that are making money off of bombs and missiles and contractors. If we had a real democracy that was not run by corporations, we would be able to vote for people that would represent the voters and what we believe in. And I encourage you, besides opposing all the future wars, continue to support bringing our troops home now, giving good benefits to the veterans that got tricked into serving in the military, and vote for real democracies every time you get a chance. Woo. Uh, now we have uh, John Hershey uh, from the PSL coming soon. All right, thank you. Hi, thank you all for coming out today. Um, I'm John from the Party of Socialism and Liberation, and I'm also an organizer. I'm also an organizer with the Answer Coalition, and I would like to thank you all for coming out on this uh, uh, National Day of Action against any possible attack, assassination attempts, um, regime change moves, or anything like that against Iran. Um, our outlook is that we must uh, respect the national sovereignty of other nations, especially after the last, you know, last ten years. There's been three invasions, occupations, or interventions in the Middle East alone. Sorry. <laughs> um, and Iran has won er, since the 50s, you know, with the Shah, and then in 1979 they had their own revolution. They had the establishment of their own government, not one of a puppet. And we must respect that. Um, these claims that they're building nuclear weapons, you know, what about Israel? These claims that they're violating human rights, what about the U.S. or Saudi Arabia? You know, we must respect national sovereignty and resist any... any we must continue the fight against any upcoming invasion or anything like that. Um, thank you. Hi there, I'm from Women's International League for Peace and Freedom, Sacramento Valley Branch. Now the sanctions part of it, where we're basically going to be cutting off their lifeline, and when you cut someone's lifeline, you know, like let's say you were kind of depriving someone of oxygen, a lot of times, you know, people will fight back. So the sanctions are very, 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 very serious, and we've got to stop that before, I mean, before anything. Uh, it reminded me of just before Pearl Harbor, when the United States had put an embargo on Japan on the things it needed for their industrial society. It was cutting their lifeline, so they struck back. It's not to say this is okay, but we just need to learn from history that when you put sanctions on a country and you disrespect their sovereignty, yes, often they will fight back. My name is Patrick Snyder and I'm running for U.S. Senate. And if you haven't already signed a petition for a Senate candidate, please sign for me. I'm against war. I want to slash the Department of Defense budget. I want to give all active troops in combat a $50,000 bonus so that when they come home, they can take the year off and recoup instead of worrying about finding a job or keeping their house. And that's just a small fraction of our military budget. I'm against war. First and foremost, I want to close 90% of our foreign bases and bring all of our troops home. Enough of this 
trying to work, conquer the world. That's not what our founding fathers had in mind. So uh, I'm trying to take back the Democratic Party. Please support me. Uh, hi, my name's Steve. Uh, I, I want to talk about where the United States is these days. Uh, over the last 500 years, uh, the European and, and United States have had various uh, efforts to conquer the world. And each one of these countries that tried that uh, suffered from the imperial overstretch. The first part of my agenda implode. and my website's going to be Spain online. Spain did that. Uh, Netherlands did that. Great Britain did that, Germany did that, and the United States is doing that. So, for your own consideration of the United States and Americans, we need to stop shooting ourselves in the foot by finding wars over in, creating wars over in South Asia, uh, in the Middle East, in Africa. Uh, my name is Stephen Payan. I'm, uh, I'm from Yolo County, Peace and Freedom, as well as Occupy Woodland. I'm an organizer out here. We came to show solidarity. We treat our people like slaves. We, have, we are not giving them the resources that they need. We, again, we're only 4% on education. So as students and organizers, we need to start demanding a better balance on where our, our schools are going. We have we spent $19.3 million an hour on these wars. I don't, and this, I don't find this to be a democracy. I don't think we ever voted for that kind of a budget. We're, we're in a republic, and what we're trying to do is to bring democracy back to the United States, to what is founded for, of, and by the people. Because currently we're seen as for, of, and by the corporations, all these special interests. Who pays the Democrats? Who pays the Republicans? It's the corporations. I mean, I joined the Peace and Freedom Party because I believe that we, should have corp we shouldn't have corporations infiltrating our elections. So I encourage everybody to vote third party, any party that doesn't take any corporate interest. If you want to join the Green Party, join the Green Party. I chose Peace and Freedom Party because I'm an anti-war advocate, pro-peace, pro-immigration, pro-legalization of people who are indigenous to this land. Um, so I'd like to thank PSL and everybody for um, coming out here to organizing this today. Uh, there may not be a lot of us out here, but we got to remember that there's millions of people um, nationwide um, in solidarity today for this action. This is Sacramento taking its stand. That, uh, the change begins with you. The, the, this world is not going to change if you're not leading by example. So, so yeah, let, let's quit talking shit. Let's start doing shit. And let's organize. Thanks. Hands off Iran. Hands off Iran. Hands off Iran! 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 Hands off Jobs and education, not for war and occupation. Money for jobs and education, not for war and occupation. Money for jobs and Oh yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it was fun. I'm glad to participate. Yeah. Are you gonna try to do all your videos? Same deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your fight is with the world order. Thank mm -hmm. you.